The president contradicted the White House description of how Comey was fired. He insisted he had already decided to dismiss the FBI director before a Monday meeting with the attorney general and his deputy. Other officials, including the vice president, have said the president followed the Justice Department's advice. Margaret Brennan's at the White House. Margaret, good morning. Good morning. Well, White House Deputy Spokesperson Sarah Sanders dismissed these inconsistencies as simply semantics, but she admitted that she had never actually asked the president whether he had decide, decided to fire Comey before he received that recommendation from his deputy attorney general. He's a showboat. He's a grandstander. President Trump said he had decided to fire former FBI Director Comey long before Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein recommended he do so. Oh, I was going to fire regardless of recommendation. So there was they, really relevant. He made a recommendation. He's highly respected. Very good guy. Very smart guy. Uh, the Democrats like him. The Republicans <clears throat> like him. Uh, he made a recommendation, but regardless of recommendation, I was going to fire Comey. That conflicts with accounts given by Vice President Mike Pence and administration aides who described Rosenstein's advice as the deciding factor. President Trump made the right decision at the right time uh, and uh, to, uh, to accept the recommendation of the Deputy Attorney General. He took the recommendation of Rod Rosenstein, the Deputy Attorney General, Pretty quickly after, I believe, receiving that recommendation, the president made the decision to let Director Comey go. The president admitted the ongoing FBI probe into his campaign's ties to Russia was on his mind as he dismissed Comey. Knowing there was no good time to do it. And in fact, when I decided to just do it, I said to myself, I said, you know, this Russia thing with Trump and Russia is a made-up story. The president also said he wasn't concerned about optics when the day after firing Comey, he held an Oval Office meeting with the Russian foreign minister at the request of Vladimir Putin. It was set up uh, a while ago, and frankly, I could have waited, but what difference does it make? The White House says it was misled when the Russian state news agency released photos of the meeting without permission. That same day, Mr. Trump also met with the Ukrainian foreign minister. An Oval Office visit only revealed after the pictures were posted on the ministry's Twitter account. Last night, President Trump took to Twitter to portray both meetings as a peacemaking initiative. Remember, it was Russia's military intervention in Ukraine that triggered those U.S. sanctions that now both Moscow and many U.S. businesses would like President Trump to lift. Gail? All right, Margaret, thank you.